Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a, another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Next episode is episode 10. Can you believe that? We're already at episode 10. That is crazy. So I thought to celebrate, uh, it would be fun to do something a little bit different. So instead of asking me normal questions, ask me really weird and random questions like, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? That way I can answer really ridiculously weird answers, um, or give ridiculously weird answers. I think that would just be more fun. Uh, you can still answer, ask, gosh, I can't get anything right. You can still ask regular questions if you so wish, but I just think that might be more fun for episode 10. But anyways, now let's get into today's questions. Our very first question of the day is quite a long one, so I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. It comes from Scarlet Oil, and he says, do I much prefer to get, or would I actually, would I recommend getting smaller sets or bigger sets like UCS sets? And which UCS set would I recommend? So, um, to answer the first question, personally, I prefer smaller sets, um, like battle packs, micro fighters, and like the little play sets, like maybe dual on star killer base, that kind of like play style set. Um, I like the big sets, like even like sets like Kylo Ren Shuttle, um, but you know, they just, they cost more money and they take up more storage space and, um, you know, so I would prefer, or in this case, I would recommend you um, get the smaller sets. Not like the itty bitty small ones, like if you hate micro fighters, um, but something like in between a micro fighter and the newest like X Wing, you know, something like that. Um, and to answer your second question, the UCS, which one would I recommend? I'm going to actually give you two that I would recommend, one that I have and one that I don't have. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you get the UCS Slave 1. Um, that's the one I have, and it is just an absolutely gorgeous set. Like, it is so amazing. Um, you know, so do definitely get that one if you don't have it already. And the other UCS set that I would definitely recommend, but this one's going to cost you a lot more, is the Imperial Shuttle. That is just an absolutely gorgeous UCS set. I would love to own it someday, and I hope to. Um, I, even though I'm not a huge fan of UCS sets, more just because of the storage, not because of the cost. Um, but maybe someday, you know. So definitely, those are the two I would recommend. Our next question comes from Ivan. He says, do you think that LEGO will make a playset for the Mandalorian? You know, no, definitely don't think they will. Lego doesn't seem to listen to us ever, so no, they definitely won't. Our next question comes from E.K. Starlord. He says, do you like Lego Harry Potter? Harry Potter? Yes, um, I guess. I, I mean, I'm not going to buy the sets. I'm not going to start collecting them, but they're cool. Um, I like Harry Potter as a franchise. I like the movies. Um, I've never read the books, but um, I like the sets i think they're cool i'm not gonna get any of them maybe someday i'll start getting into harry potter and doing reviews on them if my channel like ever like really grows to that point where i can do stuff like that um but at this point that would be considered like too expensive for me to do that and star wars sets and i'd much rather do star wars so yes our next question again comes from ek starlord and he says do you like lego hidden side Oh no god no god please no 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 i do not i think hidden side is the dumbest okay not the dumbest but one of the dumbest themes that are out right now it's just so stupid it's such a waste of money in my opinion if you like it great that's okay i'm not like telling you you shouldn't like it but it just I don't see the appeal, and I don't know if they still do it, but the marketing when they first announced it was that you can, like, scan the sets with your phone, and, like, it reveals, like, a monster within the set, and I'm like, ooh, whoop de doo you know? So, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just being, like, overly negative about that, but I just, I don't see the appeal. I think it's a waste of money, but um, I will admit there are some cool factors about the sets. Like, I think some of the sets have glow-in-the-dark pieces, and that's cool, but that's about it, really. Our next question comes from the Lego Man. He says, what are your thoughts on The Last Jedi? 
Um, honestly, after watching episode 9, I don't hate The Last Jedi as much anymore. Um, but I will still say, I still to this day think that uh, Ryan Johnson ruined Luke Skywalker's character. And he just made him like a whiny baby and like lazy. And um, Also, the movie was just kind of boring. Like, really. So, eh, just not that good. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's definitely not the best Star Wars movie, but I don't hate it as much as I used to, but I still just don't think it was really worth it, you know? Next question comes from the Lego Man again. He says, which Lego movie is your least favorite? Um, so out of the four, the Lego movie, the Lego movie 2, the Lego Ninjago movie, and the Lego Batman movie, I'm going to say the Lego movie 2. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? It was just the least creative, if you ask me. Like, it seemed kind of rushed. Um, and I, one thing that kind of bugged me was the, the song that they tried to make. They I don't know if they were trying to do that on purpose or if they were just trying to um, rush it, but... It didn't seem creative enough. They were trying to make a song about making a song get stuck in your head. This song's going to get stuck in your head, however it goes. And it's like, okay, that's kind of fun, but everything is awesome is was way better. And you could tell that they really thought that through. So that movie and like the thing, the story was kind of like predictable and kind of boring. And so I just, out of all four of the Lego movies, the Lego movie 2, is my least favorite, but I love all the movies. Don't get me wrong. They're all great. Our next question comes from Sheriff Bob. He says, do you want a remake of General Grievous's Starfighter? Um, you know, honestly, that's something I never once thought to myself. Oh, I want a remake of General Grievous's Starfighter. Um, I'll buy one when it comes out because apparently there's going to be one later this year. Um, uh, and I'll probably get it. If, if I was going to pick anything revolving General Grievous, it would be him himself. I'd much rather have a remake of General Grievous. He, he's just so ugly. Like, I don't like the most recent design we have and, like, the way the arms look and everything. Just, like, it's just boring. Like, they could do much better, I'm sure. What? I don't know, but that's why I'm not making the sets, right? <laughs> so... Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe the new General Grievous of Starfighter will come with a remodeled General Grievous. That would be super amazing. And that would explain why it's going to be like $80. I still don't see how that's possible. I don't think that's true. I hope it's not. But anyways, our next question comes from Doc Jedi Films. He says, where do you get most of your money to buy all the Lego sets? Or all your sets, the sets. <laughs> Gosh, can I read anything right? I work at my church, not like just volunteer, but like actually like work part time there. Like I actually get paid there. Um, so yeah, I get paid from the church. I work at my church. So our next question comes from, I can't find it. You stupid. Our next question comes from the Lego Pork. He says, what is your favorite battle pack in Star Wars history? That is a tough one to answer, dude. You can't ask me that. That No, that's too difficult. So I'm going to answer out of all the ones that I do have. How about that? I think that's more fair. Out of all the Lego Star Wars battle packs that I have, the Galactic Empire battle pack, I think that's what it's called, is my absolute favorite. Yep, yeah, Galactic Empire Battle Pack. I just looked at, looked at it. Um, it is the absolute greatest battle pack that I own. Our next question comes from Ace Gamer Studios. He says, "Do you want an MNR's 501st Battle Pack?" Yep, yep. I'm not even gonna bother answering the rest of this question. 501st Battle Pack, hands down, full shizzle. It needs to happen, and hopefully it does someday. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, uh, ASA, whatever you want to say. Um, so thank you all very much for commenting and watching, most importantly. Um, and remember to ask me ridiculously weird and wonderful and wacky questions for next ASA so I can answer them ridiculously weird. Or you can just ask me regular questions. It's up to you. But anyways, thanks for watching.